Welcome back to Gurung Pinoy. We are back with the last part for our module assistance for students help desk our MASH for week two of math grade six. There is actually still one other lesson, but I'm pretty sure the parents and the students can handle that after watching all three of our video. Now again, for this lesson, you are given a generalization that has a different steps and of course a sample problem. I'm not going to discuss that since you already can see this in the module of your kids. Now let's go to the exercise that we have here. Exercise one, number one. Laura needs two and a half meters of yellow ribbon and two and three fourths meters of blue ribbon. If each meter of ribbon costs six pesos, how much money does she need to buy the ribbon? Okay, so Laura here needs two and a half meters of yellow ribbon. Okay, so that's two and a half meters and also two and three fourths meters of the blue ribbon. Okay, now each meter of the ribbons would cost six pesos. So now the question is how much money does she need to buy the ribbon? Looking at our problem and analyzing it, we know that we need to add the yellow ribbon to our blue ribbon, we need to get the total of, of that. And then of course, we need to multiply the total by six pesos because each meter costs six pesos. Okay, so we have this as our mathematical equation. You have two and a half meters plus two and three fourths meters. And we are of course going to get this sum. We will multiply that sum by six pesos, okay? We are first going to get the sum of our mixed numbers here. Now, as you can see, we have two mixed numbers here. And so we are going to first convert them into improper fraction. So again, for us to do that, we will multiply the denominator by the whole number, then add the product, to our numerator okay and then of course we simply copy the denominator here so that's two multiplied by two that's four plus one okay so that would give us five then copy the denominator of two okay so that's why here we have five over two or five halves now for this part here of our equation we have two multiplied by four that's eight plus three we add eight here, and so that would give us 11 over four. Just copy the denominator of four, okay? So we have five halves plus 11 over four. Now, as you can see, we cannot add our fractions yet because these are dissimilar fractions. They don't have the same denominator. And so what we do is we get their LCM or their LCD. Okay, we look at the multiples of our two denominators here. The multiples for two, of course, are two, four, six, eight, and so on. Okay, for four, your multiples are four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. Now, again, we're looking for the least common multiple or the least common denominator. And so your least common multiple here would be four. Okay, that's the lowest multiple that we have between two and four. And so we have four as our denominator, since that is the LCD or the LCM. Now again, to convert our fraction here and to make them into similar fractions, we divide the LCD by the original denominator. Then we multiply the quotient by our numerator here. So that's four divided by two, which is two multiplied by five. Okay, so two times five, that would give you 10. That's why we have 10 here as our numerator. Now four divided by four, that's just one times 11. So that's simply 11, okay? Now adding 10 and 11, we know that the answer is 21 over four. Okay, so 21 over four, that's the total meters of ribbon that Laura needs. Okay, now we proceed with the second part of our solution. Okay, so what we do is to multiply the meters of ribbons that we need. So that's 21 over 4 times 6 pesos. Okay, now you know that whenever you have a whole number, its denominator would just be 1. Okay, so that's just equal to 6 over 1. Now we need to check whether we can simplify our fractions by looking across the fractions, looking at the numerator of one fraction and the denominator of the other fraction. We'll try to check whether they have their GCF. Now 21 and one here, of course, there's no other 
uh, common factor except for one, so we can't simplify them. You have four and six, and we know that their GCF is two, so we divide both of them by two. That's four divided by two, giving us two, then six divided by two, giving us three. Okay, now we can proceed to our multiplication. You have 21 times 3 and you have 2 times 1. Now 21 times 3, that would just give you 63. Then, of course, 2 times 1, that gives you 2. Okay, so the answer would be 63 over 2 pesos. Now, as you can see, our answer here is an improper fraction. So we need to convert this into our mixed number by just dividing your numerator by your denominator. Okay, so we simply divide our numerator of 63 there by our denominator of 2. Okay, so we have 63 divided by 2. Now you need to remember that um, this is for grade 6, so we still need to perform our division. Okay, so that's 6 divided by 2. We know that to be 3. Then you have 3 times 2, which is 6. Okay, so there's no difference. We bring down 3 here. 3 divided by 2, of course, that's 1. 1 times 2, that would just be 2. Then you have a remainder of 1. Okay, so you can write this as 31 and 1 half. Okay, so that would be 31, the whole number 31. Your remainder becomes the numerator. Then, of course, your divisor becomes the denominator. So that should be the answer, 31 or 1 half. 31 and 1 half, now you know that 1 half is just 0.5, okay? So you can just write 31.50 pesos, okay? 31 pesos and 50 cents. Now, you can also perform the division process where you need to add the decimal point and write a zero there. But the answer will still be the same. It's going to be 31.50 pesos, okay? So that's the answer for question number one. Now, we proceed with number two. There were 42 learners in Mrs. Dante's class and 39 learners in Mrs. Palma's class. If five six of the learners in Mrs. Dante's class and two thirds of the learners in Mrs. Palma's class joined the scouting movement, how many learners were scouters? Okay, we're looking for the total number of scouters. And we are told that five six of the learners in Mrs. Dante's class are scouters. So that's five six of 42 and two thirds for Mrs. Palma's class, that's two thirds of 39 learners. So what we do is we get five six of 42 and we add that to two thirds of 39. That's going to be the total number of scouters that we have. Okay, so this is our mathematical equation. You have five six of 42 because we are trying to get five six of all the learners in Mrs. Dante's class and two thirds of 39 because Miss Palma's class, of course, has a total number of 39 learners, okay? And we add this to get the total number of scouters. So we have, now again, in math, the term of simply means multiply, okay? So we have 5, 6 times 42 plus 2 thirds times 39. Uh, looking at this, we know that your whole number would just have a denominator of 1. So that's just simply 5, 6 times 42 over 1 plus two-thirds times 39 over one. Now we try to check whether we can simplify our fractions here, trying to look across the two fractions. Okay, so five and one, no other common factor except one. Six and 42, their GCF would be six. Okay, now six divided by six, of course, that's one. 42 divided by six, that will be seven. Okay, so now we have simplified our fractions. Now two and one, no other common factor. Three and 39, their GCF of course is three. And three divided by three is one. 39 divided by three is 13. So now we can proceed with our multiplication. You have five times seven, giving you 35. Okay, then of course one multiplied by one, that's just one. Two times 13, that would be 26. 1 times 1, that would just be 1, okay? Then, of course, we can just easily add the number of scouters that we have here. That's 35 over 1, which is just equal to 35. Then, of course, 26 over 1 would just be equal to 26, okay? Okay, so the correct answer would just be 61 scouters. 61 was taken from 35 plus 26, okay? So that's 61 scouters for question number two.
we go to exercise two. Number one, Rhea is making a new dance outfit. She needs two and a half yards of fabric for the shawl and one and three fourths yards of fabric for the dress. If each yard of fabric costs 40 pesos, how much money does this should not be Shara? It should be Rhea, since we're talking about Rhea here. So how much money does Shara need or does does Rhea need? Now this has the same solution as the one that we had in number one, okay? We simply add two and a half uh, to one and three fourths, then we multiply their sum by 40. Okay, so this should be your mathematical equation. Two and a half plus one and three fourths, then you multiply their sum by 40, okay? Now remember, you have a mixed number here, so you need to convert them into your improper fraction first by multiplying your denominator and the whole number, then you add the product to your numerator. Then after that, just copy your denominator, okay? And so once you, you have your improper fractions, just add them, then multiply their sum by 40 pesos, by 40 pesos. And that should be your answer, okay? I'm not going to um, solve this for you. I know that you can already solve this on your own. Now for, for number two, there is a total of 2,512 people attending the fun fair. Five eighths of the attendees are students and one fourth of the attendees are parents. The rest of the attendees are people living in the neighborhood. How many attendees are students and parents? Okay, so that means we are going to get the sum of five eighths and one fourth. And whatever is the sum, we are going to get that part from the total number of people, which is 2,512. Okay, so your mathematical equation would be 5 eighths plus 1 fourth. And of course, the sum of these, we are going to get that part of 2,512 total number of people who attended the fun fair. Okay, now as you can see here, your fractions are dissimilar fractions. So again, you need to convert them into similar fractions first, or fractions having the same denominator by getting the LCD or the LCM of your fractions. Okay. And so once you get the LCD or the LCM, um, divide the LCD by the denominator here, then multiply the quotient by your numerator 5, okay? And then, of course, you need to add, add your similar fractions. Then once you have that fraction, you simply multiply that by 2,512 because, again, the term of in math means multiplication. Okay, so again, I'm not going to solve this for you because I'm pretty sure you can already do this on your own. And of course, there is another lesson in your module, the last lesson of your module. I am not going to discuss that because I'm pretty sure after listening to all three parts of our discussion for week two of math six, you already know how to do your multiplying fractions, okay, or converting your mixed numbers to your improper fractions and vice versa. All right, so that ends our discussion today. All right, so this has been Coach Mac of Gurum Pinoy. And again, please don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to all our social media accounts. And I say, malit manabutil na mga kaalaman, ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginawaan. See you again in our next videos.